What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing loan report number one of the 2020-21 season, having a look at how the Manchester City players that have headed out on loan in the summer and in January are performing out at their loan clubs. It is a one in four part series for everybody to look forward to, we do it annually. And it's that time again. But before I crack on with this video, make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content, then do subscribe. Press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. It is free. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, too, of what you are uh, making of these loan players and how they're performing at their retrospective clubs. And also my social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below, too, if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries so without further ado let's crack on with this loan report and our first player that we're going to be speaking about is Marlos Moreno who went out on loan to Lommel SK that is right Marlos Moreno, he's still here. He is still a Manchester City player. The 24-year-old Colombian, he's doing really well in Belgium, actually, which is uh, really good news. Uh, he's had lots of unsuccessful loans uh, whilst he's uh, been at Manchester City. So I'm really happy that we've finally managed to find a good loan move for him. Uh, he's made 19 appearances in Belgium this season, which is 90% of games which he started in as well. He scored five goals and assisted 3-2. That's a really good loan. Uh, and to be honest, uh, I would like Lommel to sign um, Marlos Moreno on a permanent deal. I think that would suit uh, par uh, each party. Manchester City, Lommel and also um, the player himself, Marlos Moreno as well. Seems to be enjoying his football there. And considering Lommel SK a part of the CFG as well, it uh, helps improve our partnership. And this is why the CFG is here. City can have a look at the top talents from around the CFG and bring them to our club. And then enhance their uh, enhance their career and enhance their performance and uh, it works uh, the other way with young players that City bring in uh, and players coming through our academy that they can be utilised by other clubs in the CFG and if their future doesn't lie at Manchester City it could well lie at the future of another CFG club and so that to me is an ideal scenario so yeah I'd let Marlos Moreno go to Lommel SK if uh, that works for everybody so yeah nice to, it's a nice positive start to uh, the loan report and I will tell you right now that not all loans in these videos are successful. Now, moving on to our next player, moves us on to Filip uh, Stevanovic of Partizan Belgrade. Now, the 18-year-old Serbian winger, uh, he isn't doing too bad either. 18 appearances, started 50% of games, scoring four and assisting two. That isn't bad. We did sign him from Partizan last January for £7 million, uh, and this uh, summer will be him completing his 18-month loan uh, to Partizan Belgrade. So the next question is... Where will he go next? I reckon it will be alone in the CFG, but to which club? That remains to be seen. Now, moving on to our next player, moves us on to Daniel Arzani. Now, he's out on loan at, and bear with me with this, um, Aarhus GF. I hope I've said their name right. That's in Denmark. Anyway, uh, he went out on loan in January, so he was previously out on loan at FC Utrecht uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, that was from the summer through to the winter. Now, the 22-year-old Aussie winger, he fought, uh, featured in only four games for Utrecht, uh, and that was right at the beginning of the start of the season, uh, and then he wasn't utilised since. Uh, and so because of that, City moved into Danish side Aarhus instead. Um, he's made one appearance for them in the last couple of months. So I find this really odd and uh, really strange. It seems to have uh, stagnated his career. His career seems to have stalled with the progress being made. And it is a big shame to see because Arzani, uh, when he first joined Manchester City, came with a lot of promise. He went out on loan to Celtic. Uh, and again, that came with a lot of promise. Then he picked up a really bad injury. And then ever since uh, ever since then, it's just uh, really stalled and things just haven't really uh, worked out. It's been quite painful to see as well. Now, uh, Arzani's contract is up uh, with Manchester City at the end of the season. Now, I was just doing a little bit of research and digging and uh, sources in Australia are suggesting that a return to Australia is what is in the pipeline for Daniel Arzani, which uh, does not surprise me. He did really well out in Australia and so I think it would do in the world of good for his confidence to get back to Australia, get playing his football and his practice and uh, obviously look to improve on from there. But his move to Europe, it just hasn't materialised, hasn't, hasn't worked out for him. And like I said, it is a big shame to see comparing that to the loans of Stevanovic and 
and uh, Marlos Moreno, which have been successful loans. It is. It's sad. It is. It's sad to see. Now, moving on to our final player to speak about. Takes us on to Jan Kuto, a bigger name there, uh, that has headed out on loan at Manchester City. Now, he's out on loan at uh, another club in the CFG, Girona. The 18-year-old Brazilian right-back comes with a lot of potential and promise. He struggled for games as well. Featured in 11 games this season, just 20% of the uh, games he started in this season in the Spanish second division. It's not even La Liga, it's the second division. He scored one goal and assisted two. Um, I'm not aware that he's had any injuries, uh, so I'm not too sure why he hasn't had too much game time whilst at uh, Girona. Uh, but Girona seemed to have been underutilising him as a loanee from uh, Manchester City. Uh, and I have looked at all my loan reports, by the way, before putting out this video this is video one of four um and i'll tell you right now Girona. this isn't the first time uh, in this four part series that they underutilize players out on loan by manchester city uh, and if that is the case i just simply next season wouldn't send them any players from manchester city because they're not utilizing them yang kuto like i said he comes with lots of promise he's an exceptional player and he's just not been utilized which means he's going to return back to manchester city we we're speaking about at one point how yang kuto could return back to manchester city and possibly challenge for the right back spot right now uh, that isn't going to happen and so it will be another loan out for uh, for Yang Kuto um, yeah where would we send him? Could it be sent out in England? I I'm not too sure. How would the work permits work? I I again I'm not too sure City could sell Yang Kuto, uh, sell him abroad somewhere where he could get a work permit if that's uh, what the issues are here uh, and uh, potentially put a cheap buyback clause on him to bring him back if he does prove himself to be a success. Much like the first time when we sold Angelino took him to PSV, did really well there, really low buyback and bring him back to Manchester City. Yes, it didn't work for Angelino here at City and that is really unfortunate because he's an exceptional player, uh, but it has helped to improve him and now he's uh, featuring for RB Leipzig. He's played Champions League football uh, and he's doing really well at that left wing back position and Jan Kuto could be the same for him to happen uh, if we was to sell him permanently. So I'm stuck in between. Do we loan him or do we uh, sell him uh, and put a cheap buyback clause in? If we're to loan him where to? Can he be loaned to England? If he can, I would loan him to England. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Would love to know your thoughts of what you've made uh, of Yang Kuto and his uh, loan that's been quite unsuccessful with Girona. I'd love to know your thoughts of that in the comments below. So there we go. That has been part one of four of my loan reports. Do stay tuned uh, in the next couple of days for part two, which will be out. And I'll see you all again for that. Uh, so I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I do hope everyone is safe and well. Don't forget to like, uh, leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe, aiming for 16k subscribers. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget, share the video as well. Show lots of love for the JSGC channel. Everyone's support over the time that I've been on YouTube has been absolutely sensational. I do hope that everyone did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. I've been JSGC and I'll see you all again for the next loan report part number two, which is where we're going to be looking at Luka Illich, Pablo Moreno, Aro Muric and also Pedro Porro. So I'll see you uh, again for that video very soon. So I've been JSGC. Peace. Ciao for now.